Hey guys, so you're going to be looking down at the bridge in a second. So I don't know how long you'll have this connection, but you got it for now. Try and zoom in more. You can probably hear the tear gas coming over. This is the blockade on 1806 just outside of camp. This is about as close as I can get, unfortunately, otherwise I'll lose signal completely. That's all you're looking, I'm just trying to stream this on Facebook, so yeah, just have some coverage on it, but if I go any lower, I can't get any service. But I'm in, I'm in Nocheti, Sakhawi. Um, have been for about two weeks now, maybe. To the best of my knowledge, what's happening is to do with the blockade being moved. I'm just here to try and document anything that's happening and coming from the uh, forces on the far side. Yeah, that is the bridge, correct. The light you see at the blockade. Yeah, I'm sure it's being jammed right now, but that's the bridge on 1806. Can you hear my voice? Type yes or no. What you see is the bridge on 1806, where the blockade is. From the other side of the blockade, there's been tear gas fired, I've seen personally. I'm not sure about rubber bullets, someone had said that, but I don't have confirmation. Yeah, there's a 
plane flying above, which I'm sure that is messing around with the feed. Honestly, I just got up here after this happened, so I don't exactly know the start. I believe the barrier... Okay, so according to Unicorn Riot, yeah, I know it's a terrible picture. It's also a terrible reception. Hey, Emma. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm up on the top of the hill. According to Unicorn Riot, it was an attempt by water protectors to remove the blockade and reopen this bridge. Yeah, the buffering is probably... Yeah, if I go any closer, I lose my service completely, so I have to be on top of the hill above. The vehicles you hear going through are going up to the front lines to pick up people who have been gassed or No, I can walk down there. If I walk down there, I lose signal. You videoing? I did some video. Okay. The, I'm is streaming. The jam so we can't. I don't. I'm not 100% sure. The people are saying that they're not getting my feed very well, but I'm just. I was thinking about doing something like that, like live feed, but otherwise I'll just keep doing video. And I just want to make sure that. Uh, I'm trying to keep this docu. I'm just trying to document it. Yeah. I'm not going to go down in the middle because I don't have signal. So stop worrying about me. It's all good, people. What you're seeing is the blockade being removed on 1806. I have seen tear gas or or uh, mace used. I'm not sure which. I think it was tear gas because I saw them being fired and bouncing across. I have heard rumors of rubber bullet. I haven't heard or seen that. But you'll see this is the road that leads up from the camp. So these people are coming up from camp. And I'm sorry about the picture, it's dark. You'll see there are planes without lights flying above us, which is totally illegal if anyone wants to call the FIA. Is that our drone? Or no, no, I'm not talking about drones, the plane oh. that's flying without lights. Oh, that's, yeah, I imagine that's... They've got water cannons going now down there. I don't know if you can see that. They've got... That you hear is tear gas being fired to land way back in the crowd. Look at that. That is tear gas. You see, share this. You see it's being indiscriminately fired into the crowd. This is on this side of the blockade. This is perfectly okay to be on this side of the blockade.
I know the picture's grainy and it's, I'm zoomed in so when I move the phone it doesn't stay... doesn't stay, I'm sorry people, this is difficult to do. But what you just saw was water cannons being unleashed at the front. And what you heard was tear gas being... Was that mace or the, that was... My apologies, that was actually pepper spray you saw. And what you heard was the tear gas being fired over. Because I saw the tear gas bouncing. Compression, compression bombs as well. There's compression bombs as well. Why? What I was told was this is the blockade is being removed from the bridge. This is the for people coming in right now. This is on 1806. This is the blockade. The water protectors are removing the blockade. And it is, you see in the distance there, they've still got more and more forces coming in in the back. Looks like they're bringing down some kind of SWAT vehicle from what I can see. I'm just guessing. And, So I'm just trying to roll this so you guys can see what's happening, but my focus keeps going, so I apologize. My camera focus, to be precise. So I'm gonna roll this as long as I can. I know it's not the greatest. Yeah, it's way too pixelated because they're hacking it, but you should be able to hear my voice. You can hear the plane above us that's being flown with no lights. Compression bombs and tear gas for sure. I'll describe as well as I can from where I'm stood. Unfortunately, if I go any closer, I'm unable to have service down there. But basically on this side of the blockade you have more and more water protectors forming up. And the blockade is being removed to reopen this bridge. And then on the side with the police and the uh, National Guard you have deployment of mace in great clouds, compression bombs and also tear gas being fired. The noise you'll hear is people calling for a medic, so there are medics up there at the front lines. And the cars you'll see coming back down the road are taking people back to the medics. Um, at this point in time, I'm unsure as to the reason for this right now. I think just to reopen the bridge that's been closed for a long time. I, I'm, I'm merely reporting what I see. And observing so I can't pass on any information past that yeah I heard there were rubber bullets too I, I heard that but I haven't seen that I have seen the mace I have seen the tear gas and I've heard the compression so I can report on that factually myself So what you can do is you can share this because right now I can tell you these are unarmed people who are being fired on with tear gas 
compression bombs, a mace, no I'm far enough away not to be not to be affected right now, I'm up on the hill I'm probably three four hundred yards away I'm gonna try and walk closer and see how my signal goes Tell me if you're still getting this. Yeah, this is live right now. Not in your... Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not in other people's way. No, I probably dropped it. It's really hard to get any kind of focus on this right now. Yeah, I'm sure I am buffering. They don't really like this very much. No, I'm far enough away not to worry, so quit worrying about me. So for those just coming in, this is uh, the blockade on 1806. And you'll see the lines and lines of police and National Guard on the left of this picture as you look. And at the front here, you have the lights. And then on this side, you have the unarmed water protectors who are being fired on with tear gas, mace, compression and also reports of rubber billets. Hey Johnny, thanks for joining. Please share if you would. I'm not sure where Aisha, where Aisha is. Don't know where anyone is. I just came down here when I heard this was happening. I'm getting as close as I can while still feeding. Yeah, I'm sure my feed will go eventually, but while it's going, just I'm. Okay, cool. Maybe you would. The noise you hear is people going back in cars for medical and trying to clear the road to get back to camp. Yeah, I'm going to try and zoom again. The problem is when I... I don't know how many, but I can tell you more and more are joining right now. I'm trying to zoom in for you, but when I zoom, it gets very pixelated. The huge light is from the other side by the police and by the riot, riot police and by the uh, National Guard. The noise you hear above is a drone. And then above that, what you also hear what you hear above that as well is there's also planes that are being flown again without lights. But again, I will reiterate, the water protectors 
are unarmed. So what you're watching is militarized police unleashing mace, tear gas, compression bombs on unarmed citizens. As you'll hear, there's more and more people coming. Yeah, keep keep sharing this. Yeah, if anyone wants to get the EPA to calm down for doing tests of the air, anyone outside of here that can make those calls and get them down, that would be marvelous. I know it's been spoken about, but it's hard to call from within camp and organize things. But if you have people on the outside that could organize that and get people down there for testing the um, for testing what those vapor trails are that come at night, because there's been a lot of talk about the chemicals. Um, but what's needed is proof. So if anyone is able to come down from the EPA and get the EPA down here to do a proper test, that would be amazing. So when people are asking what they can do to help support. The more people that call up for something like that, the more likely it's going to happen. So when you're asking how you can help support, calling up about things like that would be amazing. Because if you call on things like that and you get a thousand people calling, that will make a big difference. So someone can look up the number for the EPA, someone can make those calls. Right now it looks like the main vehicle's backtracking and back to camp and I hear people being asked to get off the bridge. Paul, if you're a certified HVAC and you can get those connections. That would be perfect. Because those are all things people can do. The other things that you've been told a million times, but doing every day is calling the White House, is calling the Army Corps of Engineers, is calling your governors, is calling all the other channels, the banks that support this. Because as you can see right now, the unarmed water protectors are being fired on again, whilst unarmed, with tear gas, compression grenades, mace, and also rubber bullets. So everyone out there that pays taxes, this is what your tax money is going towards. Yes, the EPA is the Environmental Protection Agency. They're the people that could come down and test what these chemicals are that look to be coming from aircraft flown at night without lights. These aircraft that are flown without lights every night. And it's hard to get the numbers. And even when people get the numbers, the numbers are changed. But they're flown out of local airports. What's happening? What's happening? They're going to tell the cars that are around. Where are they coming from? That way. From behind? Yeah. For what? To block from boxing in from behind? Yeah. Okay. I've just had word that they're potentially trying to box us in from behind. Is that just vehicles though? Yeah, but I think they think they're going to arrest people whose cars are there, block everybody in and arrest the people that are left. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep streaming from here right now. All right, good deal, brother. I don't... I don't feel like I'm, I haven't been given any kind of warning. So I don't feel like I'm doing anything that's... Oh no, no, you're not. No, no, but I mean, I was just... So a lot of people are going to move the cars because there's word that they're going to come around from the other side. Yeah, to try and... Uh, to try and uh, blockade and arrest everyone that's down here right now. So I'm going to keep rolling from up here.
Yep, they were using tear gas on the far side just a few minutes ago. They also had compression grenades going. I saw them fired with my own eyes. I saw from up here, and you'll, I saw huge sprays of what I was told was mace. They're doing it again now. You see that right now? Wow. Don't know if you can see that. Can you see the... If I zoom out, maybe you can. See that firing right now? Right now, that is being fired on peaceful, unarmed citizens. I'm not sure 100% what's being fired right now. Keep sharing this while you can. I'm just gonna keep this rolling right on there as long as I can. I'm not sure how long my battery's gonna last. I've been having problems in this weather. Right now it's very cold. I know the picture's grainy, it's the best it can do right now. But right now it looks like all the vehicles on our side are pulling back. So whilst everyone's pulling back, they're continuing to mace and spray down there. I'm trying to zoom out to get you some focus, but it's just not happening. That light is playing with the focus terribly. So for those that are just joining right now and not sure what's happening, this is the blockade on 1806, just north of camp. And it's an attempt by the water protectors to open this bridge. And right now I have personally been watching tear gas. I've personally been watching compression grenades fired. I've heard reports of rubber bullets. And I want to again stress, this is peaceful. This is peaceful, unarmed water protectors. So that's what you're watching right now. And anyone who's just joining, it seems like people are falling off here right now. Can you comment if you're coming in where you're coming from so I know you're there because I think I'm being jammed. Can you guys, are you guys seeing this? Or is this completely black right now for you? I'm not getting any comments, which is strange. But for those of you that are watching this, this is the blockade on 1806. And this is... Uh, the peaceful water protectors and they have been being fired on the, you can possibly see it right now okay you see that that is being they're being fired on right now that is what they're using I'm un, not 100% sure exactly what it is I've been told that it's tear, I've been told it's tear gas. Can any of you guys confirm what they're firing right now? It's, it, is it wood or is it mace? Oh, where? 
Well, they've been macing up front. A lot of guys are coming off the line, Mace. You can see the power of this hose down there right now. Again, I'm going to stress that these are unarmed water protectors who are being fired upon by the militarized police. So they have compression grenades, they have tear gas, I believe that's a water cannon, they also have mace. So this is, they have rubber bullets too, I'm hearing from behind. I'm not 100% sure if that's water they're spraying right now, but if it is, it's pretty mean because it's pretty much below zero right now. So whether it's water or mace, I'm not 100% sure, I've heard both. But regardless, these are peaceful water protectors. Stay safe, guys. Yeah, there was earlier there were compression grenades for sure. There was tear gas and there was mace on the front lines. And the water cannon, I believe, is what you're watching right now. The noise you hear is a drone flying, I'm unsure as to whose that is. Yeah, I know the camera's pixelated, that's why I'm talking, because I can't. This is on 1806, it's the blockade on the bridge where the vehicles were set on fire previously. I don't know the exact temperature, what I can tell you is my hands are exceedingly cold whilst holding this camera, so I'm not going to debate the temperature, but either way, to be soaked with water in this temperature is highly dangerous. I'm but You can see they're also using... I can see it's hard to, to actually tell, but they're using... Um, the mace as well right now on a lower on a lower level you'll see the mace so that that's drifting that's the water cannon but is that water yeah yeah Otherwise they wouldn't be standing there right <laughs> so it was uh, removing the blockade on the bridge was what was happening and it's been met with as I say tear gas a water cannon you'll see they have medics coming through I'm just going to stress again, this is unarmed people. This isn't armed people, this is unarmed people. You're talking children, you're talking elders, you're talking every generation, you're talking every nation, every relation. These are the peaceful water protectors that are standing here and trying to say no more, to protect these lands, to prevent this black snake. And this is what they're being met with. This is what your tax money is paying for. For those of you suggested going closer, I wish I could, but right now my connection's weak. The road is open so people can go back to camp that need medical. So that is, that is what you hear being yelled when people need a medic, people coming through. This is about, as you can see, that water cannon is being sprayed on this crowd of peaceful, unarmed water protectors.
Right now, the, the temperature here is around zero, if not below. So you keep asking what you can do. You can call everyone in positions of power and let them know this isn't okay. You can pull the money out the banks that are supporting the Wells Fargo's, the US bank. Look and find out who's supporting energy transfer partners and make it be known that you don't want that to happen. That's what you can do. You can call the Environmental Protection Agency and get them down here because there's reports about chemtrails in the sky above camp and I can vouch that every night there are planes flying without lights over camp which is illegal to start with and there are trails in the air we do not know what those trails are but keep calling the EPA get them down here reach out to the people that are supporting this pipeline and let them see this let them know what they're supporting reach out to the police forces that are here and let them know that it's not okay and keep sharing this and standing up then come here. So I know my live feed's grainy. I apologize. I can't do anything about that. I'm just going to keep rolling it from here as long as I can. You can call the White House. You can call your governor. You can call, you can call the banks. You can call the Army Corps of Engineers whose land we're stood on right now. Although it's unconceded treaty land before that as is so much of the land in America. Yeah, these are unarmed water protectors. These are, these are people that sit and pray in camp. These are people that are making sure the elders that are here are protected and warm. You're not looking at armed militia. You're looking at peaceful, prayerful water protectors being brutalized right now with water cannons, tear gas, mace, and compression grenades. And what you'll notice is they're stood there. They're not running away from this. They're standing and facing this on everyone's behalf. I, someone messaged me with all the actions that went on the other day with the Army Corps of Engineers, and they said, Kevin, Bismarck, North Dakota, was the only place where they had riot police stood against women and children. New York City was the only place that they reported having police at any of the other um, gatherings. All over the country, there were gatherings at Army Corps that didn't even have police presence. But here in North Dakota, in Bismarck, they were stood there with billy, billy clubs and mace, waiting against women holding children, holding babies in their arms and speaking. So yes, share this out and let people see what's happening to peaceful, unarmed. Thank you for joining Australia. Comment the country you're, that, you're, that you, you're from or the state you're from. Let's see where people are all from. And call the governor of your state. Make sure you know, let them know that this is not okay. It may sound like a weak thing to do, but if everyone does that, people power, people power will change this. That's what's changing this here right now. We all need water. We also need the ability to be able to live to our, how we're taught to live without being downtrodden, without being brutalized for simply living in a different manner without having land stolen. Ironic that they're using water. As someone just mentioned, they say it's ironic that the thing they're using to control this is water, the very thing they're destroying. They're firing again, I can hear them firing. You hear that? That noise you hear is something being fired. I don't know if I can zoom in, but you'll see down here, They're, they're banding up and firing. Now I'm back. Something's messing with my feed. Sorry, guys. That pipping you hear, that what you call pipping, is either either rubber bullets or compression grenades. My my guess is rubber bullets.
Yeah, I'm back. It was interrupted for a second. I know the connection's weak. For those of you that are joining, this is the blockade on 1806. This is the bridge. We're back. Don't worry about the interruption. I'm back. But this is unarmed water protectors who are being fired on by rubber bullets, by compression grenades, by tear gas, by mace, by a water cannon in below freezing temperature. You see right now, it looks like they're forming battalions on the other side. I'm just trying to see. It's really hard to tell, sorry. But you see the line here? The line in line with that light on the screen is riot police. Fully, fully, fully battened up riot police with shields. You see the shields glinting in the light. Just keep sharing this. Keep sharing this and see what's happening to peaceful water protectors. These aren't militia. These are young women. These are grandmothers and grandfathers. This could be your grandmother. This could be your grandfather. This could be your child. It probably some of you it is your child here doing, standing here, and saying no more. For those of you just joining, this is the 1806 blockade just north of camp. On, high, sorry, on Highway 1806, it's the bridge. I'm not going to debate politics. If you're just joining, tell me which country you're in or which state you're in. Call, call your banks. Call the banks. Call the White House. Call the governor. Call everybody who has a play in this with energy transfer partners. Look it up and get some knowledge. Hey. You remember me, what did you? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm... Iowa, come on. Iowa, oh my goodness. Kevin. Yeah, What's hey. up? Crazy, I'm good. Man. Yeah, I'm streaming right now. We got about 4,000 awesome. people watching. Awesome, awesome. Keep it going, Kevin. I'm going Remind me your, remind me your name. It's Tracy. Yeah, Iowa City, Kevin. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. So I'm going to go right down and get a long range plan. Okay, cool, brother. Whoa. All right, guys, sorry about that. You see that? It's tear gas being fired right there. You see that trail in the sky? It's either compression grenades or that is tear gas. Either way, this is peaceful. Water protectors, unarmed water protectors. Yeah, look, they're firing right now. You see those trails in the air? That is them firing right now. Keep sharing this where you're from. Share this out as far as you can. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. You got 4, yes. Shameful! What you see right now is that they're, they're flanking around the edge. Shameful! Shameful! I'm sorry you're losing the... That's clouds of tear gas you're watching right now. That's clouds and clouds of tear gas. There's calls for medics right now down there. I don't know if I can zoom in any closer for you. I'll try, but it goes grainy. This is shameful. Raise your hands if you have a 
Yeah, if you if, if what you're watching makes you cry, if what you're watching right now makes you feel like you don't want to be part of supporting this, then make the calls. Make the calls to the people that are supporting this with your tax dollars. Because people power is the way that's going to change this. I mean, you just see this. I'm just showing you. They've got, they've still got, sorry, but they've still got the water cannon going on these people as they are walking back. The coughing you hear is people coughing up tear gas. That drifting across there is clouds of tear gas. I hear Myron is somewhere up here on the hill behind me, I don't know. What they're firing on right now, I don't know. They're using that water cannon right now. I'm just going to remind you, these are unarmed. These are not militia, militia, this is unarmed water protectors. This could be your son or daughter, it quite possibly is your son or daughter. This could be your grandmother or your grandfather down there right now. They're trying to clear the bridge. As you see, they have battalions. There's lights over here too, way off over here. I'm sure right now that's probably under surveilling when people are here. That right there is the water cannon. So those of you that are just joining right now, this is peaceful unarmed water protectors being fired on with tear gas, rubber bullets, compression grenades, mace and a water cannon. This is your tax dollars that's paying for this. If you don't like this, then call your governor. Look at who supports energy transfer partners. Pull your money out of those places. Boycott those places. Because people power is the way that's going to change this. These, yes, these are, these are militarized police. This is a military or law enforcement taking this against peaceful, unarmed civilians. If you don't like what you're seeing, share this. Share it as far and wide as you can. <laughs> this is over money. This is pr profits and power ahead of people. And these are brave, brave water protectors stood against this right now, not backing down. Standing peacefully while it's being fired on. And keep sharing this. There's five, there's nearly 6,000 of you watching this right now. I don't have time to read all the comments, so if I miss you, just say where you're coming from, which country, which state. And as someone pointed out, the irony is they're using water against the water protectors. If this pipeline goes through and when, not if, when it breaks, they're not gonna be able to use that water against peaceful people. They're not gonna be able to drink water themselves. It's time for this madness to end. Just go to my page, it will be there. Anyone's looking for this. Minneapolis in the house. Yeah, if you're a lawyer and watching this, a human rights lawyer. We're gonna pull this down afterwards, this can go. Alexander Fred from Ohio, post this out wide for us.
Water is life and water is sacred. And that's why these peaceful, unarmed people are stood there right now protecting it. Being fired on with compression grenades, tear gas, rubber bullets, mace, and that water cannon you're seeing right now. These are unarmed people. Many of these people an hour ago were sat praying around campfires and build structures. These aren't trained militia. These are unarmed people facing rubber bullets, tear gas, water cannon, mace, compression grenades. Peaceful, prayerful people protecting land, protecting the sacred water. So that you're looking on, those that are just joining now. Yes, this is sub-zero weather. This is the 1806. That's the bridge on 1806 just north of camp. And what you're watching right now is militarized police and national guards firing on unarmed citizens. Prayerful, peaceful, unarmed citizens. It's a water cannon you see going right now. The popping noises you hear was was either rubber bullets or also compression grenades that have been being fired. You have tear gas, you have mace. I stress again, this is unarmed civilians. I'm not... This is on uncontested treaty land. What you heard now was just a drone. I think it was probably uh, one of ours. Is this ours or not? No, I know. Yeah, do you know if it's? Doesn't matter. Um. There's there's media. Oh, okay. That you see right now is the water cannon going again in below. This is sub-zero temperatures and they're firing a water cannon on unarmed, peaceful, prayerful water protectors. If you don't like what you're seeing, reach out to every company, every input that supports energy transfer partners. Pull your money out of those banks. Go to the Army Corps. Let them know that how they're treating the people here in Army Corps land is not acceptable. Because the more people that stand up and say something, the more power there is. Because people outside of here that can't be here, that's what you can do. I'm just going to keep streaming this as long as my feed stays. Yes, this is evil. This is vindictive. This is... is it's insane. We're watching. The, and I'll remind you, these are unarmed citizens. Being fired on. Please keep sharing this. You can help by calling the White House. You can help by calling your governor. You can do that every day. I don't have the numbers on me right now, but you can find them online. You can get the EPA out here, the Environmental Protection Agency, to see what these chemtrails are that are at night in the sky. You can speak to the um, FIA um, regarding the planes that are flown without numbers, without lights at night. The more people that complain, the more people that draw attention to this, the what's happening here. Because in camp, it's really hard to do that. In camp, there's very little signal. So people outside that can't come here, that's what you can do. Right now, yeah, right now I'm being lit up by a drone. So if this feed dies out in a second, I'll t you know why. But right now what you're watching, those are just joining, this is the blockade on the bridge in 1806 just north of camp these are peaceful prayerful water protectors this could be your son or daughter this could be your granddad or, gra or grandma they're unarmed and they're being fired upon with mace 
tear gas, compression grenades, rubber bullets and a water cannon. That that you can see constantly going right now is a water cannon. Right now I've got gloves on and my hands are freezing cold. I can only imagine what it's like down there for the people down there that are getting covered in water right now and soaking into their clothes. So just keep sharing this. I don't know if the feed's being jammed right now because I see, I see there's 10,000 of you watching, so I think we're good. Just keep sharing it. Can you comment below where you are? Comment below where you're coming from, country and state, so I know that this isn't being jammed. You're still getting it as you come in. Yeah, this is your tax dollars that's going to supporting militarized police against peaceful unarmed civilians i'm not debating temperatures if you if, if you want to troll on this feed that you can find a better place to do it these are people's lives at risk right now you know just a water cannon this water cannon with the temperatures out here very easily give people hypothermia and will do the biggest compliment you can play right now is sharing this video as it's live there's 11,000 right now. Yeah, you can jam up the 911 feed if you think that'll help, but... That is, that's a water cannon you can see going right now. Yeah, I, the irony is not, not lost to me that they're using water against water protectors. Because when the pipeline bursts, they aren't going to be able to use that water for drinking, let alone spray people. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit more, but I think it's going to pixelate it, yeah. Just keep sharing this. Keep commenting where you're from. If you're just joining, this is the blockade on the bridge on 1806. This isn't inside camp, so this is a choice. People are choosing to put their lives on the line and stand out there. So people that are looking at coming here, you do not have to come and stand on that bridge. This is outside of camp right now. People have made this choice to make a stand. But they are unarmed. This is unarmed water protectors. I will stress that again, unarmed, being fired on with mace, tear gas, rubber bullets, compression grenades, and a water cannon. You should be able to share. You may not see it because I'm still streaming live. But when you come, when it, when this finishes and uploads, you should be able to. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey guys in the comments, just stay positive, send your protection, send your love here, don't waste your time with people that don't have, don't have support for this, it's fine. Just send, send your love and protection to the people that need it and don't waste your energy on the ones that are just talking right now. Johnny Lil Wolf, if you're are still there tell me if you think I need to take this down and start streaming live again thanks for joining Bill this is bridge on 1806 what you're watching is peaceful prayerful water protectors being fired upon with tear gas compression grenades mace a water gun and rubber bullets I'm wondering if my battery is so I'm going to be trying to charge. Sorry, this is shaky right now. Oh, shoot. Sorry, it's hard to hold it still.
Sorry, Chucky, I'm trying to plug in so I don't lose the feed. All right, guys, this is, I'm just plugging in. So I bet I got this. I know I went shaking. It was just. Alright, sorry about that. I was just plugged into a battery pack. I was shaky for a second, I apologize. For those that are just joining and wondering what on earth you were just watching, I'm sorry. So, this is what you're watching the bridge on a TO6 high just north of camp. Shady Skin Camp, Sending Rock, on the reservation. This is just off the reservation on Army Corps land. What you're watching is you're watching peaceful, unarmed water protectors being fired upon with a water cannon in sub-zero temperatures with tear gas, mace, compression grenades and rubber bullets. Seeing people dropping off, are you still getting this or is it completely jammed right now? Johnny Littlewolf, should I drop off and start again or should I keep going? Can you comment, please? Thank you, Florida. Please share this. Please call your governor. Please call the White House. Please call Army Corps of Engineers. Visit them where you are. Let them know what's happening. Let them know that it's not okay. This is your tax dollars that's being spent like this. I'm going to stress again, these are unarmed water protectors. This could be your son. This could be your daughter. This could be your grandmother or your grandfather or your mom your dad. Probably is. See right now it looks like people are moving to circumvent the blockade. I'm just yeah, I know it keeps interrupting. So on the side here you these are water protectors. And as you come up, what you hear now, they're being fired upon again. These are peaceful. That's the cannon you see going. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the water cannon again. So right now you are watching a water, a water cannon being fired indiscriminately on peaceful water protectors. Okay, Norway, you're just coming in. This is the blockade on 1806, just up from the, where everyone's camping, just off the Standing Rock Reservation. This is peaceful water protectors being fired upon with rubber bullets 
tear gas, compression grenades, mace and a water cannon. This is militarized police in North Dakota, Bismarck, North Dakota and National Guard. There were police from, I believe, five states here. This is what tax dollars here in America is supporting. Again, I will stress this is peaceful water protectors, unarmed, being fired upon in sub-zero conditions with a water cannon, mace, rubber bullets, tear gas, compression grenades. You'll hear them every now and again. You'll see the protectors that are walking on this side right now. I don't know if you can see there's a vehicle being driven against them right now. I don't know, it's rather dark over there. I don't know if you can see that, but these are... Yeah, I know we're buffering right now, sorry. But yeah, you're asking what you can do. You can call the people that support this pipeline. Energy transfer partners and everyone that supports them financially. What you're watching right now is that water cannon being fired on peaceful water protectors who are unarmed. I'm going to stress unarmed. So those that are joining from all over the world, that's what's happening. That's what's happening here in American soil. These are unarmed citizens being indiscriminately fired on with water cans, tear gas, mace, compression grenades, and rubber bullets. Yeah, if the picture's bad, just listen to my voice. I'll try and tell you what's happening as I see it. Bear in mind, I'm about, I don't know, 400 meters away up where I can get signal. Trying to show you, it's really hard to see, but to the left of the blockade here, you'll see there's vehicles coming around from their side, and there's people on our side that are stood. I know it's too dark to really see. I'm going to go back to the main bridge where you can see because of the lights. So those just joining, this is the blockade on Highway 1806, just north of main camp. And the water protectors are peaceful, unarmed. They're calling for blankets right now for everyone who's being soaked with the water in sub-zero conditions. Who are just stood there peacefully. Peaceful protectors praying, unarmed. This is what they're being met with right now. If you do not like what you're seeing, please share it. If you feel the need, go ahead and call your local governor, call your local police force, call the Army Corps of Engineers. This is being done in their name. This is unacceptable. You're right. This is the same people who's had their lands taken from them had genocide committed against them. Right now you've got people from all nations, all relations, all generations stood down there. This is not militant, militant people. This is unarmed, prayerful, peaceful water protectors who are being who are being fired upon with rubber bullets, who are being fired upon with tear gas, mace, water cannons and compression grenades. And this is your tax dollars that's allowing this to happen. Yeah, there's 16,000 of you. If you all share this now into Facebook groups, because I guarantee this isn't going to stay live for much longer. If you hear 
a weird noise, that's the fence right where I'm resting on. Let's see if let's see a fire being set down there right this that's been set down there right now. They're putting out by the looks of it. What you're watching right now is something someone's a fire and the border protectors are actually putting that fire out. So as you'll see, because you know the story tomorrow will be that the water protectors were trying to set fire to everything. You've just watched on the live stream when a fire was started, how they all gathered round to put that out straight away. So when you hear the stories of people setting fire to things, you know that you just watched that. You know what, I think what's happening is the things that are being fired are setting it on light. I'm not sure what's happening right now. Can can you see what's happening? They're firing. The other side's firing. Whoa, watch out, people. Do you hear that? Now, if you see where that just landed from the other side, you'll see that's what's starting fire. That, by the way, is probably about maybe a hundred meters from where I'm stood. Maybe closer. And that's being fired from the opposite. Whoa. That's compression grenades that you hear going off right now, I believe. That's a water cannon that you can see being used on an unpeaceful. Water protectors, please keep sharing this. If you notice, I want to point out when that fire was started, immediately water protectors went around and put that fire out. The people with a water cannon that could have used water completely ignored it. So when you hear tomorrow that people were trying to set fire to things here, know what the real story was because you just watched it right now. And when you share this, put that on there, that the water protectors put out the fire that was started by things fired from the other side. Make sure you put that out there because the story is going to be twisted tomorrow. What you're going to see in the national media, what you're going to see of this, is not going to be what happened. This is the bridge on 1806. What you're hearing is concussion grenades. What you're seeing is a water cannon, as well as mace and tear gas and rubber bullets being fired on peaceful water protectors who are unarmed. So if you're just joining right now, that's what you're watching on 1806. This is the bridge on 1806 that is blockaded. And you are watching militarized police in North Dakota, Bismarck, North Dakota police, and police from five or more states firing on peaceful, unarmed civilians. There's a light coming in from the very far left. What's, can anyone see what that is coming in from over there? Can anyone see what that light is I see far to the left that's coming in? You might have to come down the hill. If you come down the hill, you'll see there's a light that's being coming. There's something moving in from the, over, over this way. Yeah, I know you've... Are we back? I'm going to go slightly further back up here because I just lost signal.
Okay, sorry guys, we lost service for a second. We're back. If you're just joining, they are firing a water cannon, mace, tear gas, rubber bullets, and concussion grenades on peaceful water protectors, unarmed. This could be your mother, this could be your father, or your son, or your daughter. This could be your grandfather or your grandmother. And these are unarmed, peaceful water protectors who are being brutalized right now. This is negative temperatures. This is below zero right now or close to. And they're firing a water cannon on these people constantly. So if you're just joining, share it and share what's happening. Share what you share what I'm telling you. Ignore the comments, just share what I'm telling you when you share this. Share the fact that when the fire was started, the water protectors went and put it out. The guy with the water cannon ignored it. Yeah, I don't I can't see exactly who's starting fire. Signal's being jammed right now. I think. Yeah, I know they're breaking the signal, but as you see it, just stay I'm staying with it. There's 20,000 plus people watching this right now. So if it's being... Just stay on the stream. It will come back. They haven't shut it down. Just stay with the stream and keep sharing it. And point out when you share it that when the fire was set, the water protectors were the ones that ran and put it out. And I believe it was set by something that was fired from the other side. I can't swear down to that, but I did see something landing in the grass over by me as well. But this again is unarmed people. This is unarmed civilians. This is unarmed civilians being fired upon with rubber bullets, compression, compression grenades, mace, tear gas, and water cannon. You'll see the water cannon that's going almost constantly at the back of this feed on the crowd. I know it's pixelated, I'm sorry. Just have to take my word for it and you'll see it every now and again. calls you here in the background and medics coming to and from the bridge bringing blankets and taking people back that have been gassed people back that have been hit people back that are getting hypothermia I believe the noise you hear above me is a drone it might have something to do with why my feed is going so crazy There's more, there's, there's more lights coming from the far left of me that I can see out the corner of my eye. I think they're, I think they're creeping lines across the field, but I can't be sure of it. But I'm, they've definitely got vehicles that are down there. I know it's really dark to see down here, but that where the light is right there is a vehicle. And you'll see there's lines of people See these lines of people heading in that direction. That's the water cannon you see going right now. You see those in the background there. Again, this is around zero temperatures. And these are peaceful, unarmed people being brutalized by militarized police. Keep sharing this and, and, and tell the story when you share it because this live stream is being hacked. I know it is. Keep going in and out, but you can tell the story. Water cannons, tear gas, compression grenades, rubber bullets, and mace against unarmed, peaceful, prayerful water protectors. This is on 1806. This is the bridge, the blockade on 1806. There's been at least one projectile fired from the far side that landed within 
no, 100 yards of where I'm stood right now. And I'm way back, because it's where I can get signal. That, if you're just joining, is the water cannon being used again. Keep sharing this. These, again, I stress, these are unarmed water protectors. It could be your aunt, your uncle. It could be your son or your daughter. A lot of you, it probably is your son or your daughter. The vehicles you hear going back are the people going back from the front lines. Yes, this is torture. Hey, my good friend Lindsay's just joined me. You all right? Well, I got tear gas so hard I peed my pants from coffee, so I'm doing great. You wanna, can I, can, <laughs> can I help you in any way? Yeah, I just need to get out of that area. Can you just share that live so you tell what happened? Is that? <laughs> Okay, this is uh, this is Lindsay. She just came back from down where that water cannon's being fired on the front lines. Uh, yeah, they're watching a lot of uh, <coughs> tear gas canisters right now, which on a bridge really sucks because you can't leave. So you just have, have to stay there and uh, <coughs> breathe it or trample each other. We had nobody trampling each other. Sorry, <laughs> it makes you a. Uh, Cough real hard. I cough so hard. I threw up and peed my pants today. So that's fun. So I'm just. I need to sit down. Yeah, sit down, sister. So I'm just asking you a question, people. You see this this girl here? As I was telling you, these are unarmed, peaceful water protectors that are down there. Well, they're spraying them with those hoses. It only takes a few minutes to get hypothermic. Okay, I'm back onto that. What Lindsay just said was the reason she went down there, she was taking emergency blankets for the people on the front lines. She was not down there as part of the action. She was there to support and take some blankets, and she got tear gassed so much because there's so much tear gas on that bridge, and it's an enclosed br that she puked and urinated in her own pants from the tear gas. So what you're watching right now, these are unarmed people. Yes, I know they're trying to hack the live stream, but you can hear me, so that's fine. They can hack all they want. Until they take it right down, I'm going to keep running because there's 25,000 people watching this right now, and I ask you to share this. This is my good friend who was just taking blankets down there to the people that are being covered in water at sub-zero temperatures, which within a few minutes can give them hypothermia. She was down to the front lines to take blankets and tear gas so hard that it made her puke. You okay? Anything I can do for you? No, it actually worked, worked off pretty quick. So those are people that are saying these, these are angry, these are militant people. These, the, these are unarmed people. These are armed civilians. I said it could be your son or your daughter. This is someone's son or daughter. It could be your grandma or your grandmother. Penned in on that bridge being tear gas fired into that bridge in an enclosed space. So the choice is you breathe it in or you trample each other. That's the choices. Yeah, prayers are needed. Snarky comments in the feed aren't, aren't needed. If you want to snark, go somewhere else. And the people that are replying to those comments, just let them go, man. That, what you see right now, is tear gas being fired way back into the crowd. You see that? Sorry? What the fuck? They're firing rubber bullets. I do have that now confirmed from someone who was actually there. That's rubber bullets you're seeing being fired, hearing being fired. That's tear gas you see going across here. Those massive clouds is tear gas. These are unarmed people. Zukil, thank you. Earth Guardian, please share this, brother. Please share this. Share this to your people. Share this to the thing you have. Still there, Lynn? Where are you? Yeah, call Morton County if that vit is there. Yeah, when are you are you wet or not? No. Well, never mind, maybe. Well, yeah, 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 I got that bit, but <laughs> um, I would like to know where Amnesty is right now. They're never here when anything like this happens. 
The point was just made that Amnesty International are never here when this happens. They've been here, but they never get here when the time is. Right now, what you're seeing is that bridge is hemmed in on all sides. So there's a barricade at the front, and you can't get off the side. You are seeing round after round of tear gas fired into there. That's what you're watching. You see those popping sounds? You see the popping sounds right now? There's a mixture of rubber bullets and tear gas. They're tear gassing the puking bridge. There's no good way to get the medical through. I can't film what's happening off to the left, but there's a large gathering off to the left right now. Whoa, what is that? This is chaos right now. If you see that is round after the round of tear gas that you're watching being fired. If you, you can't see, but that's an no way to get off that bridge to the left or to the right. Yeah, one landed just on the hill here. So those that are watching, this is the blockade on 1806. They are using tear gas, mace, water cannons, rubber bullets, compression grenades against peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Could be your mother, your grandfather. Moving forward now. Huh? SWAT is moving forward now. SWAT is what? Look at the bridge. On the sides? Whoa, you see what's being fired there? I'm gonna try and zoom in. Tear gas is being literally lobbed in there. That tear gas you're looking at from here. This is this is unarmed people. This is a this is a constricted space where you can't just turn to the left or turn to the right. The only way is backwards and in a crowd of people. This is massively dangerous to fire tear gas directly into this crowd right now. This is unarmed. These are unarmed people. If I can chime in now that I'm a little cleared up. One of the first things that happens to you when you get tear gas in your lungs is that your lungs just close up and you can't get a breath in. And your eyes start watering so badly that you can't see and you just have mucus coming out your nose so you're a mess you can't see to move and in a crowd that big we're enclosed anyway so to be firing it into a space like that you're basically forcing people to stand there and inhale tear gas it can't disperse the crowd when you put it into a box like that so basically by them doing this they're just torturing the people that are on the bridge they can't back away from the bridge they're boxed in and to expect people to quickly disperse like you need to with tear gas is, is it's, it's outrageous they know we can't move quickly out there we're blinded it's dark we're boxed in you can't breathe thank you so that was Lindsay who came back from down there for taking blankets to the people who were getting sprayed with the water cannons and while down there was they're cattled on that bridge so they're stuck on both sides you can't move to the left or to the right so when they're firing tear gas and compression grenades and rubber bullets into that crowd there's nowhere for that crowd to go so they just have to suck in that tear gas and then they can't see they can't tell which direction they're going these are unarmed people these are these are where you hear is I'm back. They keep jamming the feed. Just stay with it and I'll tell you what's happening. Keep sharing this. I know it keeps going dark. Don't worry. This is, this is on the bridge. The bridge is enclosed on two sides. In front, they're enclosed by the barricade. So you cannot disperse. When they're firing this tear gas, you cannot disperse from it. My friend's just come back from the front lines from delivering blankets and was tear gas so hard she was puking and peed her pants. I'm not here. I'm stood on a hill. So just keep sharing this. I know there's 24,000 of you on here right now. If you all share this, we can reach millions. 
These are unarmed, peaceful water protectors being fired on in an enclosed space where they can't escape. With so much tear gas, you can see it in. It really speaks to how peaceful these people are that having tear gas launched in an enclosed space, no one's trampling each other to try to escape. Lindsay just said, I don't know if you heard her, but she said, this speaks to the peace and the commitment of these people that are on that bridge because they cannot escape except by trampling each other. Down there, people are not being trampled. People are standing, taking the tear gas in their faces rather than trample their brothers and sisters, which is the only way out of that space. Lindsay said, we are a family and we stand and protect ourselves. I know they've deployed Stingray, but they, you can still hear my voice. My voice is telling you the story. What you're watching is the blockade on 1806. You're looking at the water cannon that's being fired. You're looking at tear gas and compression grenades being fired. There's mace being fired and rubber bullets being fired. Again, I'm going to stress this is on peaceful, unarmed civilians. These are water protectors. These are our militarized police. These are your tax dollars that's paying for this militarized police to fire on unarmed, peaceful water protectors. If you don't like what you're seeing, keep sharing it, share the story. If you don't like what you're seeing, share the story. Go to the banks that have the money that's supporting energy transfer partners and pulling it out. I think that's what. I'm back, I'm sorry. I know I keep going, guys. Just stay with it. I will keep telling you. This is peaceful, unarmed people being fired upon by militarized police with rubber bullets, tear gas, mace, compression grenades, and a and a water cannon in sub-zero temperatures. This water cannon's giving people hypothermia within minutes. So they have people going to the front lines to go and take blankets for the water protectors that are there. But because it's an enclosed space, those people are receiving the tear gas. That bridge is enclosed, so no one can escape left or right. The only way to escape is to trample each other. No one is being trampled, so people down there are inhaling so much tear gas that they are puking, they are peeing their pants. These are unarmed. Earlier today, I was with some of these people setting up a teepee. I mean, the, the, these are unarmed people, at least, deployed against unarmed, peaceful water protectors. Right now, my feed is going in and out. I apologize, I can't control that. Just please keep sharing this, and if you don't like what you're seeing, Please go ahead and make sure that you are con contacting whoever is in your in your area to let them know what's going on. Share this out, tell the story, because you aren't going to see this on the media. Kayla, please share this. This is unarmed, peaceful water protectors being fired upon. Lindsay, do you have any battery packs on you? No. No, you sorry, I realize that. Do you have any, um, like a battery pack for a phone or anything on you? Can you ask around and see if someone's got one? Does anybody have a battery pack? It's kind of... Yeah, this is dying rapidly. What app do you have? What? What app? Do you I'm just, I've just I've got a, I'm I'm alive on Facebook with about thirty three thousand people watching right now, so I don't want to lose the lose the stream. What end, what end do you have? Well, I I got, I got one of these mobiles. This is the test of the long range acoustic device LRAD. One, two. They're about to release the LRAD now on top of the mace and the tear gas and the water cannon. They're now about to release the LRAD. If anyone has ear, ear, ear um, earplugs, now's the time to put them in. Mine are in my tent, I think. <laughs> so that you see down there is the water cannon. The LRAD is the, can, another device that you know, makes sure that you can't understand where you are. It disorientates you. So what they're gonna do is disorientate people who are boxed in on a bridge surrounded by tear gas and they can't breathe they're going to box them in fire tear gas in there 
and furthermore, fire the LRAD, which means that they lose direction, the ability to understand where they are. So they're, they're creating a very dangerous situation here. And these peaceful, unarmed water protectors, these aren't looters, you're right, these aren't people with guns, these are unarmed grandmothers, sons and daughters. Do any of you guys have a battery pack for a phone? For a phone? Yeah. Can you? I don't have my phone on me. Sorry. No, like a portable battery pack for charging. Is my phone battery's going. Just it's anything you can plug into to keep a charge. Or can you ask around the hill and see if someone will lend it to me? Someone will have one. So what you're watching right now, if you're just joining right now, is the blockade on 1806. This is a public highway. They're about to unrelease the LRAD. They're using water cannons in sub-zero sub temperatures on peaceful unarmed protectors. They're firing tear gas into an enclosed space on a bridge where people can only get out by going backwards. And there's throngs of people, so the only way to get out would be trampling each other. My friend just came back from taking blankets down to the people that had been frozen down there and she was tear gassed so hard she was puking and peed her pants. She said you cannot get out once you're down there. The only option is to trample on each other or to stand there and just inhale tear gas. And everyone's a family down there and they're standing inhaling this tear gas rather than trample each other. These are peaceful unarmed people who are being brutalized by a militarized police force right now. I'll get it back to you bro. Well, I mean, yeah, I'll just be right here. Can you like just plug that in for me? Yeah. And sometimes it turns off automatically. So, so it does push the, push the How much charge has this got on it? Do you know? Do how much charge has got on it? Um, it's the whole thing. That, that's, that's full. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. If you want to hold mine for... So you've got something in mind, you're more than welcome. I've got 37,000 people watching this right now and I can't die. Okay. That's mine, so we can. I'll give, I'll give you this back. It's not going anywhere. All right, guys, this is how much of a family. Someone who doesn't even know me has just lent me a battery pack so I can keep streaming this live. Thank you. What's your name, brother? Max. Max, thank you, Max. So as I'm telling you, on the bridge right now, that's an enclosed bridge. You can't get out to the left or right. They're firing tear gas into the crowd. The crowd have the option of trampling each other or inhaling the tear gas. They're t inhaling tear gas constantly down there. You see the water cannon that's going in the background there. This is below zero temperatures with a water cannon. Again, I'm gonna to stress to you, these are peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Your son, your daughter, your mother, your father, could be your grandfather or your grandmother. And they're being fired upon with rubber bullets, tear gas, mace, concussion grenades, and the water cannon. And they just did a test for the LRAD, which is the ridiculous noise contraption they have that disorientates you. The, the, the honking horns you hear, the vehicles constantly leaving to go back to camp with the people who have been maced and have been tear gassed. Coming up to the front to bring supplies to bring blankets. If you're watching this and just joining, this is 1806. This is Highway 1806. They say thank you, Max. Keep sharing this out. I know I keep losing the stream, but you keep getting the voice. I'm sorry the picture's so weak. If you can, if you can share this, when you share this, mention what's being used. Water cannons, rubber bullets, mace, tear gas, concussion grenades, and the LRAD, which is the sound concussion, basically. It's designed to disorientate you. So they have people on a bridge where they can already not move backwards because there's tons of people, they're then going to fire a noise cannon at them to disorientate them whilst tear gassing them. And these are unarmed civilians, peaceful, prayerful people. Uh, not an hour and a half ago, we were at camp putting up teepees and protecting for this winter weather that's coming. And this is what your tax dollars are going towards right now. 
If you don't like what your tax dollars are going towards, phone up your governor, phone up the White House, phone up the Army Corps of Engineers. Yeah, there's nearly 40,000 of you watching this across the world now, and I thank you for that. Please keep sharing this. At some point, this feed is going to be jammed out and go completely. The calls you hear is to keep the road clear. If you want, if, if you need to, do you need to, are you cold? Do you need to go back? Because I can get this to you. I can, if the media tent on the top of the hill, I can leave this for the, at the media tent for you once it's dead, and you can leave mine there if you want. Which camp are you in? Are you in Ocheti? Sakuin? Oh, um, Honestly, your friend, yeah, your, friend will, your friend will under, understand. If you want to find me on, on social media, you can do um, Kevin Gilbert with two Ts, but I'll come up. It's uh, Let Your Soul Play is what will come up. Poet and videographer. I would, well, if I, I had five people watching, I'd drop off but there's 36,000 right now I know, I know. when are you leaving um, can you leave an address with security and I may mail it back to you would that work for you Um, what on my phone? Like five percent. It's if I unplug it, dies. That's why. We gotta go. Sorry. We're I mean, we can right we can go ask. I'm not moving from here. I'll be right here. If you want, that's my battery pack. It four charges. If you want to swap that out and keep that instead, but right now you've got thirty-seven thousand people watching this. If it drops, I know. I don't. I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just yeah, it's gone through like three char uh, three charges while I've been stood here. So what you're seeing right now in the background there is the water cannon. It's nearly sub-zero temperatures and right now they're using that water cannon against peaceful unarmed civilians. They're also using tear gas, mace, rubber bullets and concussion grenades. They have also just run the test for the LRAD which is the, which is the noise cannon. On that bridge, you're enclosed on two sides. At the front, you're enclosed by the barricade. And behind you, you have tons of people. So they're firing tear gas into a crowd that cannot disperse. If you look around here, they're starting to surround from the outside as well. Those are vehicles that are coming across from the left your feed's the only one going right now yeah there's 49,000 people and do you have a battery pack by any chance no. I just I just borrowed this one off this young man and he's got to leave and if I drop out now it's, I've got 5% on my phone so I can't drop thank you Sorry, I didn't mean to put you in this spot, man. Yeah, okay. I'm literally the only live feed on this. Everyone else is blocked. Yeah, because I'm not official. I'm unofficial. So I'm not with any media. But if you stand behind me, you'll see there's 50,000 people watching this right now. So this isn't like just... It's 50K. Yeah. I'm the only one live, yeah. I have no idea. If they keep cutting me in and out. What network is it for? Uh, Verizon. Verizon? That's why. 
So guys, what you're watching, I know it's a grainy picture, but you're looking at 1806, the bridge on 1806. So you're looking at the bridge on 1806. And right now these are peaceful, unarmed water protectors being fired upon with tear gas, mace, a water cannon, concussion grenades, and rubber bullets. They're in an enclosed space where they cannot escape left or right. They're on a bridge. So when the tear gas goes in there, the only option is inhale tear gas or trample each other. Right now you'll see the family staying together and they're inhaling tear gas. They're not trampling each other. They're about to unleash the LRAD, which is the noise um, cannon, which disorientates people. These are peaceful, unarmed people that you are watching. I can't get a better, a better picture for you, but you'll see on the lights on the hill in the background are the force after force of the militarized police. Bernie Sanders shared my live feed. Thank you, Bernie. Just keep sharing this and watching this because this is unarmed civilians being fired on by militarized police. The water cannon, it's sub-zero temperature right now. My friend just went up there to take blankets to the people so that they don't get hypothermia. She was tear gassed so hard she puked and she peed her pants because you cannot get out of there. And this is what they're doing to peaceful unarmed people right now on American soil. This is what your tax dollars is paying for. If you don't like what you're seeing, keep sharing it. Contact the White House, contact the Army Corps of Engineers, look at who's supporting energy transfer partners and take your money out of those. This is a public road that's blocked. So right now, thank you for coming and watching this. When you share this, let people know this is unarmed civilians being fired upon with tear gas, rubber bullets, mace, water cannons, concussion grenades. If you're just joining, this is just north of the main camp on 1806. This is just outside of the Sending Rock Reservation. These are the people that are standing up and making sure that the back and oil pipeline is not completed and that we can have water to drink, the sacred water, and to make sure these lands are not taken and, and misused. Yeah, I understand while this is all happening, Dappler drilling, I understand that right now. That's what I've heard. Right now, all I can do is stream this so you, the rest of the world can see what's going on because surrounded by, I'm not surrounded by mainstream media here. There is no mainstream media here. The only way that any of you see what's happening is by seeing these Facebook feeds. So when you see it, share it, tag the mainstream media. Because this is the only way this message gets out. Because what you'll see tomorrow, there was a small fire that was started. Immediately, that will be put down to the water protectors starting fires. It was started by something fired from the other side, and the water protectors went straight to the fire and put it out, and the people with the water cannon completely ignored it. However, I guarantee the story you hear was about starting fires on the hill. So you need to know what's happening here. These are peaceful, unarmed people. These are not militia. This can be your son. This is your son or your daughter that stood there. So if you can't be here, share this. Every day, call the Army Corps of Engineers. Let them know what's being done in their name. Call the White House. Call the governor in your... Pull your money out of the places that are supporting energy transfer partners, who are the people that are backing and putting this pipeline in. If you're just joining, thank you. Keep commenting where you're from so I know that this feed's still running and isn't jammed. Yeah, these are unarmed civilians. And this is below zero right now, or close to, and a water cannon being used. And this is being done in your name with the tax dollars that you pay. Yeah, share it, to f share it out on Twitter, share it anywhere you can. So I guarantee this is gonna go down any media that are watching this have permission to use this for whatever you want. You are welcome to share this. I know that ABC News have an agreement with me that they can piggyback any of my live streams. Feel free to piggyback this if you're watching. What you see happening in the background right now is that water cannon being used again.
I'm going to remind the people that are joining, this is the blockade on 1806, just north of camp, just north of the Standing Rock res Reservation. You can see lights closing in from the left as well. You're still watching that is a water cannon being used in the background right now. Yeah, that's right. There's no emergency vehicles that can get through on this road because of the blockade that is there right now. If you're just joining, this is 1806, just north of camp. And what they're doing is they're firing on unarmed, peaceful water protectors, tear gas, rubber bullets, concussion grenades and the water cannon you're watching in the background right now. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Emma. Yeah, call the media stations and have them share this. This is militarized police against peaceful unarmed protectors. Yeah, I know it's pixelated, which is why I keep telling you what's happening. You're watching the water cannon right now being fired into a crowd that cannot retreat backwards because they're in an enclosed space. And it's around zero degrees right now. So these people are going to catch hypothermia and these are peaceful unarmed people <laughs> right now I'm running this off of someone's battery pack that very kindly lent me Max Markison lent me a battery pack so I can keep this running So as you're joining, say thanks, Max, and we're joining from Sea Still Live. There's a prayer behind you. Behind me? Yeah. Up on the hill behind us, they're forming a prayer circle. Which... Technically, I probably can't live stream, so... <laughs> but I'm just showing you these... Are these, are the, these were people that were down there a minute ago. So these are the same peaceful protesters. These aren't our militia. These are people looting stores. This is the police using militarized weapons. Of, you see right now the water cannon. You'll hear the tear gas that's being fired. You'll hear concussion grenades. you also hear they tested the LRAD. The LRAD is a noise cannon that disorientates people. So I can swap out. That's theirs. Um, where's just again this into the other end for me? This is mine. So that's their battery pack. There, just plug that in. You got it? Alright, sweet. Yes. Thank you. Oh, cool. Thank you. Kevin Gilbert. You'll see two Ds. Thank you, Dylan and Colin. Colin, share this with the music with the musicians. If you can get Tubby Love to share this, if you can go to share this, if you have connection, or if you can get Shelley Willie to share this, we do. What you're watching, if you're just joining, is the blockade on 1806. This is the bridge. These are unarmed, peaceful water protectors being fired upon with a water cannon, with tear gas and mace, concussion grenades. I'm missing something. Rubber bullets. Um, and they tested the LRAD, which is the noise cannon. These are unarmed civilians being fired upon by militarized police. So if you're joining this, share this. When you're joining, say where you're from so I know that I'm not being hacked. And I know this is so feeding because I keep going in and out. 
If you call the White House, call the Army Corps of Engineers, pull your money out of all the companies that are supporting energy transfer partners. The noise, the, the calls you can hear to clear the road are from the front lines who have been tear gassed back to camp and the people that are soaked by the water cannon so they don't catch hypothermia. This bridge is an enclosed space. You can't go left or right, it's over a river. So when they're firing tear gas, they're firing it into a crowd in an enclosed space. There's two options, to inhale the tear gas or trample each other. Right now people are just inhaling tear gas. My friend just came back from being down there to take blankets up to the front line. She was tear gassed so hard down there that she puked and pissed her pants. And she was just taking blankets up there. What, what are you putting on, bro? I'm just on my, my page. Okay, just my you, personal. Were you down there? N no, I'm just up here. That's okay. the closest I can Make get. Make sure you give them accurate shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, that's okay. He's running over the hill. Um, yeah, tell me. You want to talk? Yeah, I can turn don't it put on. on my face though. Okay. Um, I got someone who's uh, going to join us and tell us he's, he's come from, from right at the front lines and he's going to give a more accurate picture of what's happening because as I've told you guys, I'm probably about 400 meters away up on the hill where I can get service. Okay, so basically what happened is people were trying to move the, the trucks earlier and they were successfully removed one. But then we just started getting to the front and now listening about staying back so now we have <laughs> out there and escalated into this but the, uh, this wasn't planned like this at all this was just supposed to be a way to take the cars out and people didn't listen so that's the truth okay so what i'm being what i've just been told i'm going to relay this but, to but you the cops, they, they are in our state using rubber bullets tear gas and grenades and yeah, I mean that's accurate, but yeah. sure. I just wanted to update you because I was just down there. So. so earlier today, there were the trucks that previously set on fire. There were people there to remove the trucks. And they successfully moved one of the trucks, and then it's to have more and more people down here. But these people are unarmed people. These people are unarmed people. Completely. And that, the thing is that most of the folks that are there the allies and you know, just really eager to be in the front and really, you know, support and this really amazing that, but uh, we told the leadership of the tribal people, you know, people, this is the standing rock, and fortunately at 